Hello my friends and welcome back. Welcome if you're new, for those of you that are new. My name is Anna and this is At Home with Anna. I went thrifting today. Didn't find anything at the thrift store, but I did find some things at the antique mall and I am so thrilled <laughs> with what I found. I'm so excited to show you guys everything that I got. Not only that, but I'm gonna show you how I'm gonna style it all. I have the right side of my stove pretty nailed down the way I want it. The left-hand side of the stove is a little too dark for me, lots of wood going on over there. Um, so I have something coming from Amazon that we're going to put over there. Um, and and then some of the pieces that are a couple of the pieces that I, I bought today we're gonna add to that and we're just going to zhuzh it up and that is what I'm looking to do to my home leading into fall I want to make sure that I have all of these things right so I guess I should probably explain to you my fall inspiration and um, I went through all my tubs and I didn't find a whole lot that I want to use. Um, I'm not filling the um, the faux greenery this year. I mean, I might use some upstairs, not faux greenery, but you know, the faux stems. I might use some upstairs because I never go up there. <laughs> so, um, but this year what I'm filling are real home decor pieces. Um, that I want in my home year round, but work in fall really well and work in the holidays really well. So I've been really trying to transition to that and it's going to take me a while. By now you guys have seen my um, first video leading into fall and what I was doing and I don't think I explained it very well to you guys. Um, <laughs> I should have done a better job. It was a new t style of editing for me and I really enjoyed it. I hope you guys did too. Um, it's it's uh, something that I really enjoyed putting together. I really enjoyed editing that video, but I didn't get all the marks. I think I spelled, I typed um, uh, draperies with the A and, and you know, I misspelled it, not on act. I mean, I know how to spell draperies, but you know, my finger hit the wrong key and I didn't double check. And so there was that. Um, but I also didn't explain, which I should have done, why I was doing the things I was doing and why that was transitioning me into this next season. Um, so I have placed on my nightstand in the kitchen and on the buffet back here some beautiful floral arrangements, you know, end of summer. Um, and those are holding places for my fall. So these are places that I want to have fall, fresh fall florals throughout the season. I will be doing the entryway as well, you know, a fresh floral arrangement up there as well. I just haven't gotten to that area yet. We'll be doing that in fall decorating. Um, but what I'm gonna be doing this year is just adding textiles and fresh florals, you know, and, and that kind of thing. I won't be doing any of the, um, what you typically would see, um, what I did last year, basically. Just some really key pieces um, that say fall. Um, I have a beautiful pheasant figurine. It's rather large, actually, and I'll be incorporating that. Um, and that type of thing into my fall decor, but I won't be doing the <laughs> um, typical, um, you know, faux greenery and, and or, you know, the, the garland and all that kind of stuff I won't be doing this year. Um, I'm not exactly sure what my fall decor is gonna look like, um, but I do know that it's gonna be real home decor, real pieces. And what I mean by that is actual porcelain pieces, you know, that I can I can use in, in you know, that, that time of year. Um, and I'm hoping to do that for Christmas as well. But Christmas is gonna be uh, on another level <laughs> in this house. So I've got three, no, four, wait, one, two, three, I think three large Christmas trees. I got a new one this year. Um, for here in this room. I have one for my office and one for upstairs and I have a bunch of little trees. So there's gonna be Christmas trees everywhere in this house. So I'm so excited, so excited for Christmas. But um, for fall, I just want a warm, cozy environment. So it's, it's I'm really, um, 
I'm really trying to figure all of that out um, because I'm, it is around the time everybody's decorating for fall and I'm still incorporating home decor. Um, it's kind of, it's kind of, you know, uh, odd. I don't know. I, I don't even know how to explain it. You guys, I'm just, um, I'm, I think you'll get it when you see the pieces that I got today. So anyways, it's Friday and I am home alone this weekend. So cheers. I am having a glass of Chard uh, What am I having? Sauvignon Blanc. Cheers. So the chalkboard is going. It no longer fits my lifestyle. I love doing chalkboard art. Those of you that have been following me for a very long time know that. I just don't love it anymore. That will be moving to another, possibly somewhere in my office. Um, I added those little um, floral things and I spray painted it bronze and it really elevated it, but it's still just not doing it for me. I have a vision for that wall and I've been looking on Amazon, I've been looking online, I've been looking everywhere, um, eBay, I've been looking everywhere and I wanted some beautiful vintage plates to put on that wall and I scored today you guys everything that I found um, almost everything that I found two of the plates um, a couple of figurines so a couple of other things I found online for a lot more money than what I paid <laughs> So I scored and I'm very excited about it. This first piece I'm going to show you is a platter and um, this one I did not find um, this exact one online. I did find other platters very similar, but this particular one I did not find. But I found this. This is an eggshell Georgian Homer Laughlin. And it has a number on it, but it's kind of faded away, so I can't get the number on it. But it is so pretty and very neutral, but just so beautiful and exactly what I'm going for. So $6, okay, $6. I, um, I don't know if this is the one that I found. I don't think this is the one that I found online. I found some similar but I didn't find any, or this particular one. The other two I did, um, but I found all three of these for $6. Um, this is a beautiful, beautiful piece of um, china. Um, very well used, and I love it. I love the detail in it. I don't know if you can see. Look at that detail. It's so pretty. Sorry, that's like a sticker. Anyways, I'll wash that later. But look at the detail. You can tell it's very well used. Which, this is what I love to find. Um, pieces that are very well loved. Um, in good condition, but well loved. Um, I, I just, I think that incorporating this with, you know, mix old and new just really... Um, is beautiful together. So that is the first platter I got. These next two, I'm going to go ahead and put on the screen where I, I found them, I believe, on eBay um, and what they're going for. But this one is just oh, very well used, but fell in love with her. Look at that platter. These are um, Warwick China pieces. I loved all the detail in it. And the muted tones just so beautiful and you can see she is very well loved and used I can imagine the dinners that were served on this platter six dollars and I'm putting up here how much I found it for on eBay score this next one is my favorite it's my favorite 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 and the reason why is because it has almost every single Every single color that's in my new draperies, this platter has. And it's also Warwick China, very well used. But look at the detail. I love the aged, um, you know, the, how, I can love how you can tell that it's been used and it's been, you know, I love all of those details. I don't try and find pieces that are not. I'm not doing this because I'm collecting something that's, you know, I'm gonna sell. It's something for my own home and to see those markings in it, it knows, I know that, you know, it lived a good life and people ate good off of this dish and it's so beautiful. So you can see that all three platters have a similar um, shape. 
Um, that one I found online. I will put it right here um, for you guys to see how much it's going for on eBay. And I plan on um, hanging those up with their for the wall. And they look like this. So these go around the platter and they stretch to fit, you know, the size platter. They're nice and tight, so it'll be nice and snug. And then there's a little, little V here. And it comes with a nail and um, like a little hook to put in the wall. I bought three of these to hang those. That's how I'm going to be adhering them to the wall. So exciting. So, um, I am working on, I want to do a home tour. So I need you guys to let me know. So if I do a home tour, you guys, it's my house isn't done. Um, my bathroom, my powder room is not done. My office is not done. And this area, the entry into my, my bedroom is not done, which I'm doing something really cool in there. I cannot wait for that. So with that in mind, with what I'm doing in here, I picked up a couple of little pieces um, that it's not going to make sense to you <laughs> right now, but it'll make sense to you when that project is complete. Am I still blurry? There we go. It'll make sense to you when, um, when the project is complete. So right now these little pieces won't make any sense to you. Other than the fact that um, I love walking into a house and seeing like a table with books and lamps and florals and on top of the books there's like these little pieces of curiosity and collected items, you know? So that is kind of like what I think about. I'm thinking about collected items. So um, I don't have, I don't, you know, I didn't have the pleasure to travel to Paris and Italy and the Netherlands and all the places okay so I don't have pieces from those journeys because I did not take those journeys but I want my home to feel like I did so I'm going to be spending um, you know a lot of time um, collecting those types of things so the first thing I found was this beautiful little genie jar Oh my gosh, I fell in love with it. And this was, I don't know, $6. <laughs> it has a little lid on it. I don't know what it was used for back in the day, but it's definitely vintage brass, very heavy. And I just, I love it. So picked that up. And I just think that is going to be so sweet sitting somewhere on top. I already know where I'm gonna put it for now. Um, until I finish this project over here. The next thing that I got, you guys know that I've been collecting the blue and white pottery. I'm really into that. I'm really into, I don't know, I think you probably saw it in the video, but I got a lamp um, for my kitchen. Yeah, I'm loving that, that design incorporated into my house. But look at this sweet little bell that I found. This is $3. And it, it actually works. <laughs> it's got like a little pearl in there. Um, I just thought it was the sweetest little thing. I love it. Look at I have no nails. Since I've been gardening, I had to take my nails off. It just wasn't worth it, you guys. So I love those two little pieces. They are just beautiful. Now this next little treasure. So when I go antiquing, and the antique malls especially, I will walk in and go up and down the aisles, and then when I'm done, I'll go back the opposite direction because you always see things differently and you see things you didn't see coming the other direction. So that is in fact what happened immediately when I turned around to go back the other direction. I'm going to put what these go for a piece uh, right here, okay? I found these beautiful, brass birds, so much detail in them. Oh, I love them so much. There's two, so this one sits like this, and then there's this one. Same with the ma massive detail. And the set of the, and they're very heavy. Um, they were $32 for the set, $38, yes. There we go, $38 for the set. I was so stoked. I have a really good eye for finding these kind of things when I do go out antiquing. Um, I just, mainly because I follow a lot of designers and 
you know, and a lot of designers travel <laughs> um, on YouTube. Um, they travel because I quit following them on Instagram. Instagram can be toxic. Oh my gosh. Um, but so I, I, I remember a lot of things that I see they have in their homes and things that I fell in love with and it just sticks in my head. And so when I go out antiquing or thrifting or what have you, um, when I go, I've only been a couple times since living here. I think this is only the third time and only the first time where I've had success. So um, this next thing I couldn't be more excited about. Um, speaking of collecting, okay, and curating a space in your home, um, oh, I need to take the string off, but I'll get to it later. You guys, I am in awe over these pieces. When I saw them, I almost died, okay? I should have got the candlesticks, and I may go back and get those. Uh, I did not get the matching candlesticks. I should have. I should have. I should have just grabbed them. Oh, my gosh. But these were uh, 32 No. Okay. $32 I paid for this set, you guys. This beautiful Lennox. Beautiful Lennox salt and pepper mill. Oh. Look at these, you guys. And I'm gonna put up here on the screen what this set goes for. But oh my gosh. Now this needs a little of attention, the salt. But just look at the detail in that, you guys. Oh my gosh. In love. How beautiful. How beautiful in your kitchen. I can't. Oh, I gotta go back and get the, I gotta get, I have to. I hate when I do that. I hate when I do that. I um, completely walked away from the candle holders. The, and they're heavy, not super heavy, but they're substantial and just so beautiful. So these are the types of things that I want to incorporate into my home. And like I said in the vid last video, this isn't going to happen overnight. It takes time. It's good. It could take me a year. It could take me two years. I don't know. But I'm not in a hurry. I'm going to enjoy the process of um, finding the pieces that I want for my home. And I'm not going to let myself get in my own head and be in my own head. Um, and rush and that says a lot for me. I am one of those people. I should have done that. Sorry I'm one of those people who want it yesterday. You know when Ernie says I'm gonna do this project for you <laughs> I'm like ooh, and he goes it's not all gonna get done in one weekend Nana and I'm like Ugh, you know <laughs> one of those girls so um, to style my home and really get it you know right um, is going to take a minute because I'm transitioning decor from one style to another. I've got a lot of pieces. I think it really started with my entryway table and mirror. Um, that really is what kind of really got me going. And then, of course, I did this beautiful buffet. Um, I think that a well-collected home isn't matchy-matchy. It's not a Jerome's, you know, or uh, it's not an Ashley Furniture showroom. Um, I think a well-collected home is a mix and match of all kinds of things, new and old, and just things that you really love. Um, I want to get my home to a point to when I do my home tour for you guys, I'm able to really share my passion for the pieces. So I'm not just saying, oh, I got this at Michael's. <laughs> oh, I got this at, you know, Joann's. Oh, I got this at Hobby Lobby. I don't want that. I want my home to be a collected, a collection of home decor that I fell in love with, like these things sitting in front of me that I could not walk away from. I had to have for my home. Does that make sense? So anyways, we are going to get her cleaned up and hopefully she, at least the top, I could care less if the bottom looks good. And then we're going to style. I have to wait for, um, a couple things to come in from Amazon and then we will get to styling. You guys will see it. It'll be in this video. I'm excited. Anyways, let's get this salt shaker going. Let's get, see if we can clean her up and then um, we'll start styling some of this stuff. It'll be fun.
plan for this buffet is to find some beautiful frames and fill it with family photos. But I love those two pheasants. I believe they are a quail. They're quail. I love these two brass quail. They're beautiful. Not antiques. You could buy them today. Um, you know, and you'll find that at antique malls sometimes. But the fact that I got them for such a great price for two and didn't have to pay retail for them, I love. But they absolutely do look vintage. And I love that quality about them. So that is my idea for this buffet. Um, is to have it house many family photos. guys enjoyed this antique haul. It's obviously a few days later because I had to wait for my Amazon little marble tray to come in. Um, for that, that's exactly what I wanted. Um, I just finished filming a whole nother video <laughs> that you guys will see after this one. Um, but anyways, uh, so you're going to see me. My outro is going to be in the same exact outfit. Kill two birds with one stone. <laughs> Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this antique haul. Ernie and I are going this weekend to a brand new, um, a couple towns over, a brand new antique mall. So I'm hoping to find some more fun items, some more things that I can incorporate in my home decor. Um, and I will make sure each time I find items that I share them with you guys. So um, for those of you that follow me on Instagram, you already got a sneak peek of all of this stuff. And... Um, and that is the benefit of following me on Instagram. You get sneak peeks before the actual video comes out. So anyways, um, I will make sure to put my Instagram right here on the screen for you guys in case you want to jump over there and give me a follow. I want to thank you for joining me today. I hope you enjoyed and we will see you in the next video. Bye.